Hi, I'm Kayla with GPHumidors.com, and today I'm reviewing the Aging Room Solera Cigar. This is the Fanfare size, which is 6.1 inches with the 57 ring gauge. It has a slightly tapered cap. The Solera line comes in four different wrapper leaves. It was Aging Room's uh, launch for the 2017 IPCPR show, and the main the premise behind it is that all of the tobaccos that are mixed to blend the cigar are aged together instead of separately and then being blended just for the cigar. So they are aged together, creating a more robust flavor and it gives them time to meld together. It has a Connecticut seed Ecuadorian grown shade wrapper, which is not very veiny, but you can see that it has some pretty obvious seams. And then it has a Dominican binder and Dominican filler. It is listed as a medium strength cigar. You can see it cut cleanly using a double blade guillotine cutter. The length of the stick is pretty plump. Uh, there is no palpable soft spots. You can see that it is dominated pretty much by the uh, bright orange band, but even underneath that the wrapper looks good. So I'm going to light it up and see how it smokes. All right, we are about a third of the way through. The pre-light aroma was light and airy with some oats and a hint of uh, sweet spices on the foot. The cold draw is nice and open with a little bit of a citrus tanginess left on the tongue. Once lit, the, the initial flavor profile is nice and creamy. Some sweetness on the back of the palate, a little bit of nut nuttiness to it. Uh, the draw has been excellent, the burn line has been even and slow. So far it has been excellent. I'll be back in about 45 minutes to discuss the finale. Alright, the total smoking time was about an hour and a half. The flavor profile was pretty consistent throughout. It was nice and creamy with some nuttiness to it and a hint of sweetness on the back of the palate. The burn line remained beautiful throughout. The draw was excellent, tons of smoke with each puff, no problems there. It's definitely a medium strength stick, not at all overpowering, but very flavorful and very rich. It's definitely something I would recommend.